Hello there, welcome or welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Samantha, and this is my channel where I talk all about books. Anyway, today I'm going to you with another weekly reading vlog. It is officially the last week of the Bookoblathon. It's currently Thursday, the 24th of October. So we have until next Thursday, the 31st, to try and finish all of the books left on my Bookopoly TBR. If you missed it, I'll link it up in the card, but I mean, I'm gonna go over the TBR right now, so you don't really need to watch it. But if you missed last week's vlog, you can check that out. I've, I will link that one in the card because last week I gave myself the challenge of trying to read 100 pages per day to try and catch up with my TBR, which I felt very far behind on. And this week we have a new challenge, very much inspired slash the idea was stolen from Sid, from Sid Bookworm. She did a video a little while ago, but she basically used a spinner wheel to choose how many hours she was going to read per day. And so I have done the same thing. However, unlike Sid, she went like in one hour increments and up to six hours per day. And like, I know myself, I am not reading six hours per day. So I'm going to do half hour increments up to four hours, which is quite a lot. And every day I'm going to take off whatever I've got like out of the wheel. So for example, this morning I did my spin. I landed on two and a half hours. So I'm going to take two and a half hours out. So I can't land on that again. So if I I land on the half hour space, I'm not gonna land on that again. And I think because there are eight days left in the month, I will have to do each one at some point. But yeah, as I said, today I landed on two and a half hours and I read for about 45 minutes this morning before I got started with my day. So yeah, I'm currently reading The Teller of Small Fortunes by Julie Long. This is an arc that I have, which is coming out on the 5th of November. So I wanna get it done ASAP so I can get my review up. And this is like a cozy fantasy. And I wanted to do something different because I was reading romantasy exclusively. So I was like, okay, let me throw in something a little bit different into the mix. So yeah, I'm currently reading The Teller of Small Fortunes and I'm about 35% of the way through with that. And I've got like four hours left of reading. So I'm hoping to make more progress in that today, but I've been working on my course all morning because I was doing another little mini course and I actually finished it today. So I have no more courses left. So I have to like actually focus on job applications, which I don't like doing. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the day. And actually that's part of the reason I put makeup on is because for one of the jobs that I applied for, I need to send a recent picture of myself. It's apparently for teaching jobs they like to see what you look like so I need to send a picture of myself and I didn't want to do it with no makeup on so I just put some makeup on so I could take that picture and also ideally I'll film a video because I want to film a sit down video because I've just been doing vlogs recently we'll see where the day takes me it's actually not even three o'clock I feel like it's so much later because of where the sun is in the sky but it's only three o'clock. It's just because it's autumn and it's so sad we haven't even had the clocks change yet they change on Sunday and I'm I don't even want to talk about it. I'm going to be just miserable for six months, but it's okay. But anyway, enough about that. Let me tell you what we've got left on the TBR. We do have five books left on the TBR to do in one week, which is, I just don't think it's going to happen. Anyway, so as I said, I'm currently reading The Tale of Small Fortunes. I'm also currently listening to the audiobook for A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass. I was going to switch between reading this physically and on audio, but I've actually only been listening to the audio because I've been doing my cross stitch, which I showed in last week's vlog. I will show you at some point during this vlog as well, I'm sure. In the evenings recently, Recently, I've been doing that and listening to audiobook and it's pretty fun, not gonna lie, I like doing that. Not this book, I mean that particular activity, it's quite fun. Actually I was listening to this last night and it was a smutty scene, one of the five that have happened already. Anyway, and I was literally like cringing so loudly and like going Ugh, out loud and then I had to like stop and explain to Alex what was happening and I was like seriously this is terrible. Anyway, just like the smut in this book is just insane. Not insane but I'm just like Sarah you did not have to do it that much. Anyway, but yeah, I'm like making pretty decent progress in this because I've been addicted to the cross stitch. So I will hopefully be finishing this in the next couple of days. Cause yeah, I'm normally like cross stitching for like an hour and a half every evening and I'm listening to this in two times speed. So hopefully we can finish this very soon. And then I also have on my Kindle, The Courting of Bristol Keats by Mary E. Pearson. This is another arc that I have, which is coming out in mid-November, I think. So I've got a little bit more time, but still like ideally I wanna just get my review done. This is like high priority. And then the other two books left on my TBR, I think one of these is gonna get moved to November just already, but it's fine. The first one is Throne of the Fallen by Carrie Maniscalco. I am so excited to read this. This is for the five-star prediction prompt. So like, I just can't wait because I also haven't had a five-star so far this month. So I really wanna get to this one, but it is quite long. And so is The Courting of Bristol Keats, which is the problem, but we'll see. Anyway, and the book that I think is probably gonna get moved to October or November. We're in October, Jesus. The book that I think is probably gonna get moved to November is Fear the Flames by Olivia Rose Darling. I am still super excited to read this and like I would love to get to it. And in theory, it's actually a smarter choice because it's shorter, but 
I just don't know if it's gonna happen. And I think like dragons are a perfectly good thing to read in November. Like there's nothing particularly spooky about any of the books I'm currently reading. So I'm like, I don't know. Like it doesn't matter if I read this in November. It's just that it won't count towards the readathon, but it's fine. I've had a very busy month. So those are all the books that are left on my TBR and I've got one week left to read them. So we're gonna see how I do. Anyway, today I still have an hour and 45 minutes left of reading as I said, but I'm gonna save that for later because for now I'm gonna go do the job application stuff, I think, or I might quickly film my video because it shouldn't take too long. So maybe I'll just do that quickly. Then I'll do the job applications and then read later on. But yeah, welcome to the vlog. Wish me luck for this week. And I'll see you shortly when I've got something interesting to tell you about. Hello, good morning. It's the next day. I'm exhausted because basically, um, first of all, spooky season mug. This is technically a children's mug, but it's the perfect size for my coffee. So I bought it. I'm so tired because my cat decided that she was gonna throw up underneath the bed at 6.30, which is not that crazy. 6.30 is fine. And like, I kind of just accepted, like I'm up for the day, whatever. I was gonna go make myself a coffee, but I was so cold. So I was like, let me warm up. And then once I'm warm, I'll go make my coffee. But I fell asleep. And because of that, I now feel worse than I did at 6.30. Anyway, I'm, and I need to go to the gym and I don't wanna go because I'm so tired. I definitely need another coffee before we go. I did try to read when I woke up at 6.30. I read for like 10 minutes and then I stopped because I was like, I need to go get coffee. And then I fell asleep. However, I haven't spun the wheel for today. So let's spin the wheel. That's why I'm here with my horrible morning voice. I'm here to spin my wheel and then I'm gonna go drink more coffee and try and keep my eyes open. But here we go. Two hours, okay, that should be doable. So do I get to take off 10 minutes because I already read for 10 minutes? I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm sure I'll complete that anyway. I'll just set it for two hours, it's fine. Yesterday I definitely read more than my timer because I was listening to the audiobook while I did my cross stitch. And I'm really annoyed because I ran out of thread. Here it is in all its glory. But basically the only bits I've done is the black. And the black goes on to the yellow because it's like contrasting colors. The black thread goes where the yellow is printed onto the fabric. Anyway, so I've got that tiny little piece left. I ran out of black thread. So I had to order some more and it should arrive today. And I can finally finish the black and then I'll move on to the next color, which I don't know what it is. On here, it'll be like this blue, which I think will also take a long time. The yellow I thought was like the biggest section, but I actually think it's like this pale green color. There's loads of it. There's, there's loads of everything. It's gonna take me weeks. It's been two weeks already almost and all I've achieved is the black. But I love it. It's really fun. But I just didn't realize how long it was going to take. I mean, I'm rambling about nonsense because I'm exhausted. But yeah, as I said, I completed my timer yesterday and some because I was listening to the audiobook while I did this. So I'm now 70% of the way through A Court of Silver Flame. So I should be finishing that in probably like, not today probably, but apparently the, over the weekend I'll finish it. I didn't read any more of The Teller of Small Fortunes last night because by the time I finished with this, it was already like 10 o'clock. So it was bedtime for me. Anyway, yeah, I read for 10 minutes this morning of the Tale of Small Fortunes. I'll probably try and read some more of that at some point today. I'm really tired. I'm gonna get more coffee and I'll update you later, but I'm gonna be reading for two hours today, which is definitely doable. So yeah, okay. I'll catch you later. Hello, it's been a few hours. I'm back from the gym. I'm definitely feeling a little bit more energized now. Also had a cup of coffee, so I'm awake now. <laughs> oh my God, I was so tired this morning. I really like should have just waited, but I wanted to know how much reading I had to do today. So I was like, let me just film this clip right now, but I shouldn't have, but it's fine. But what I didn't tell you about was how productive I was yesterday. Oh my God, I had the most productive day I've had in a long time. I mean, I didn't even do that much, but like, I don't know. I feel like I'm really struggling with motivation recently. And that was just a really good day yesterday in terms of motivation. So yeah, I finished my course, which I think I told you about already. And then I did manage to film a video, which was great. And then I also did some job application stuff that I needed to do. So yeah, I've sent both of those off and now they're like with the recruiters. So we'll see what they think. Well, cross your fingers for me. Either of those opportunities would be really exciting. So yeah, I did all that. And then it was like almost five o'clock and I hadn't left the house and I really like didn't want to go for a walk, but I'm trying to go for a walk every time it's like sunny out because like today it's fully just gray. Like I can't even see the sun. And that happens so often in England during the autumn and winter. So I'm trying to make a point to go outside and go for a walk when it's sunny so that I don't feel so miserable all the time in this like six month period of autumn and winter. Although honestly, like it extends beyond autumn and winter. It's like all summer. It was just cloudy and gray and horrible. I'm already sick of it. But yeah, I'm trying to make sure that I get outside just for a little walk. So I think I went for like a 40 minute walk yesterday and yeah, I got some sunshine and then it started getting cloudy. So I had like a pretty productive day and I was really proud of myself by the end of the day. Today has not been the same because of my terrible start to the day. Like I was just 
actually so exhausted this morning. I feel like I could have slept till like noon. I was just so tired. I'm back from the gym now and I've just put a soup on to cook for my lunch, which I'm not gonna eat yet, but I just wanted to get it done because I don't know if anyone else feels this way. I love cooking, but I hate it when I cook and then my clothes smell like food, specifically like onions. Like every time I cook onions, I smell like onions and I hate it. So I end up having like a specific like cooking outfit and I have to like go change every time I wanna cook. It's really annoying. I don't know if it's just like a me thing, but I hate that. So I was like, okay, if I'm already in my gym clothes, I'll just cook now. And now Alex is in the shower, which is really annoying because I'm like, I really want to have a shower. I feel gross. Because I also, in the gym today, after I did push, which was like chest, triceps, and after that, I decided to go on the Stairmaster, which I haven't done in months because the last time I did it, I nearly passed out. So I was like a bit scared of it, to be honest. But I went on today, did like a little over a thousand steps. And normally I don't really pay attention to how many steps I do on the Stairmaster, but it was on my mind because in A Quarter Silver Flame, the only way that Nesta can get down into the town is by going down 10,000 steps. Anyway, and so the whole time I was thinking like, you know, this feels pretty intense and this is only 1,100. I don't know. It was just on my mind. And then I was like, maybe I should do like a 10,000 step Stairmaster challenge in a few months once I'm like better at it. I probably won't be doing that, but maybe I should. I haven't read anything more of this or anything else. So I don't have any reading updates for you, but I just felt like you have it. So here we are. But I know that Becca is currently doing some reading sprints. So I think I might go join them them and try to read some more of the Teller of Small Fortunes because honestly I don't have anything I desperately need to do today like I should do some more job application stuff but I don't feel like it my brain is still like really foggy it's just one of those days so yeah I don't see myself doing anything super productive today apart from maybe editing the video I filmed yesterday or last week's vlog so yeah, I think I'm gonna do that and also maybe read while I wait for Alex to get out of the shower. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you about how great my day was yesterday. But yeah, I'm gonna go and I'll update you later. Hello, good morning. It's Saturday. I am tired and I have a headache and I'm just not feeling great. Like I'm not ill or anything. I just generally feel very very tired today but anyway yesterday I did not read like I said I was gonna do I said I was gonna do some sprints and I did take part in Becca's sprints a little bit but I think I only read for about half an hour and I kept on getting distracted and then after a little while I got a headache and then I just had to like go lie on the couch for a while so yeah I didn't really read very much of the Tyler of Small Fortunes yesterday like I said I was gonna do however I am so close so close to being done with the black I have this tiny little patch left. I counted it yesterday and it's literally like 22 stitches and that's all I have left of the black and then I have to move on to the other colors but I'm so close to being done with the black. When I first started doing this I had no idea how time consuming it was going to be but I do love it. Anyway but last night because I was like just not feeling that great I kind of had cramps and a headache so I was like I don't feel very well I want cookies and so I ended up baking cookies after dinner. So yeah I ended up doing my cross stitch and listening to my audiobook kind of later than I would normally start. I still had like an hour and a half left of reading so I was going until like 10.30 last night with this and the audiobook, which is, I guess, not that late for some people, but for me, that's quite late. I'm normally in bed by 10 o'clock and like lights off at like 10.15. I'm an old lady and I like it that way. However, look how close I am to being done with A Court of Silver Flames. I'm so close to being done. I think in the audiobook I only have, let me see, let me see how much of the audiobook I have left. I have, oh, oh, I have more than I thought. <laughs> I have three hours and 58 minutes left with the audiobook. But I do listen to it on two times speed, so it's really more like two hours of the audiobook. But I thought it was going to be less than that. Why is it so long? Why? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not having the best time with this book. There is like one aspect that I really enjoy, and the rest of it, I'm like, I really could have done without this book. And it's not a spoiler, so I'll just tell you what it is that I'm enjoying. But I'm really enjoying seeing Nesta have friendships. And I think that in this book, Sarah J. Mass is doing female friendship so well. Like, I feel like it's represented perfectly. Like, there was a particular scene, which I won't tell you what that is, because I feel like that's not a spoiler, but it's something that you should find out on your own if you're going to read this. But it was just so magical it was like this is the magic of female friendship the way that it was written really reminded me of like how i feel about my two best friends and so yeah that i enjoyed and i wish i'd read that part physically because i want to highlight that because it was really freaking cute i can probably find it very easily actually and i'm gonna probably underline that even though i might not hold on to this forever but i don't know but what i don't like about this book is there is so much smut like i'm pretty sure you could take out 150 pages of this and then it would be clean <laughs> like there's that much freaking smut in this book and it's like for what like it's actually i don't get it and i don't know and i'm not enjoying the way that it's written either so i'm just like every time it happens i'm like can this stop especially because i'm listening to the audiobook 
audiobook. And normally, if I'm reading a romance book, I don't like to listen to the audiobook because I know what happens in the, in romance books, and I don't want to listen to that on audio. And obviously, I knew what this book was going to be, so I don't know why I didn't think that through. So maybe if I had read those parts physically, it would have been not as bad. But to listen to it on audio, I'm like. This is horrible. Anyway, oh, and another thing I'm really liking about this is that we're getting to know Asriel's character more in this book, even though this isn't like his book. And I love him. He's probably my favorite of the three, which is so funny because if you'd asked me if I was a recent girly, I would have said absolutely. But I'm so sick of him. Like, I just don't want to hear about him anymore. And he's been mentioned so much. And I feel like his character, he's not different, but he's being annoying in this book and I'm just like I'm so over it I'm like can you just go away like I don't want to hear about you anymore why are you here this isn't your book I've got about 120 pages left so hopefully I can finish this today because I'm I'm sick of it as I said anyway I, th I feel like it's gonna be like a three star but like honestly some parts of it could be two star like I don't know some parts are two star some parts are four star and so yeah I think three star probably makes the most sense but we'll see how I feel at the end but it is now time to choose from the spinner wheel oh is it gonna focus on it? Focus on this, not me. Let's spin it. What have we got? Oh, four hours. Okay, I think if there was gonna be any day for me to land on four hours, today's probably a good day because I don't really have anything going on today. Well, not that I know of because basically my friend was supposed to be coming over, but she texted me yesterday saying that she's ill. So I don't know if she's gonna be coming over. She said probably not. She would let me know in the morning and she hasn't told me yet. Even if she is, she doesn't live super nearby. So it will be like two hours. This is doable. And I think if I was gonna do this any day, today's the day. So yeah, I have to read for four hours today, which is probably the most I've read in a day in a long time. But the good news is that we can remove that from here. So I won't get four hours again. So I'll definitely be finishing A Court of Silver Flames today. And maybe I can also finish The Teller of Small Fortunes. That would be the dream because then I'm not on track because I still have three more books on the TBR, but I'm a little bit closer to being on track. Oh, I also, some exciting news from yesterday, which I forgot to tell you about, was I have a job interview next week, which is very exciting. So yeah, one of the jobs that I like did the follow-up for on Thursday, they got back to me yesterday and said, do you want to do an interview next week? And I was like, um, yes, I want to do an interview next week. So wish me luck. Cross your fingers for me. Even if I get the job, when I get the job, actually, let's manifest it. When I get the job, I probably won't find out next week, but I will let you know. Anyway, I'm gonna go drink my coffee and I might just sit here and cross stitch this morning so that I can finally get my little section done because I'm so close. And maybe I'll cross stitch and listen to the audiobook while I do that. But anyway, I'm gonna go and I'll update you later. <sighs> Again? Why? <laughs> Oh my god. Hello, good afternoon. It's been a few hours. It's now about 2.30 and I've officially read for two hours already and I have finished A Court of Silver Flames so I can actually take that bookmark out. I did actually go through and I underlined some stuff because I was just really living for all of the quotes about female friendship in this. Like the end of this book, I feel like the last 150 pages, we had so much more friendship stuff instead of romance stuff and I loved it. Those parts, 10 out of 10. However, overall, like it just wasn't that good. 
which I was kind of expecting to not love it, but I thought maybe I would enjoy it more. But I think there was way too much romance and I love romance, but like the problem was that the romance wasn't well developed. I feel like it was all just based on attraction. I mean, no, it was developed a bit, but they were already like sleeping together by the time that happened, which is definitely okay if that's your vibe, that's, that's fine. But it just, that's not my vibe. I like to have relationships more developed first. So I guess that's just a personal preference thing. I feel like in the majority of the romance books that I read, and enjoy the relationship is fully developed like they definitely have feelings by the time they become intimate and I don't know anyway but yeah I feel like that was just missing from this book it was just purely like I'm lusting after this person so let's bang all the time and literally 150 pages could have been taken out of this which was just smut it was not necessary and I already said like listen to the audiobook for the smut mm -mm. No. However, I do feel like I could reread this in the future and I would do it physically for sure. I didn't hate it, but I didn't like it that much. And I also feel like, I think I mentioned this before, but the plot felt very similar to the plot of A Court of Wings and Ruin without wanting to spoil anything. To me, it felt really similar, except it was just a different couple who were like the main focus. But they weren't even the main focus because the couple from the other book were also a pretty major focus in this, which is like bound to happen. But I don't know. It was just not perfect. And I'm really scared for the next book because I know it's gonna be following Asriel as a love interest. I don't think that's a spoiler, but I know he's gonna be the love interest. And I feel like he is such a quiet, soft boy, but also like, you know, he's like a spy master. He's like a badass, but I feel like he's at the moment so quiet and comes across not as shy, but just as very reserved. Like he thinks a lot before he speaks and things like that. I'm reading really a lot into this character who is barely even like mentioned like he was but like uh, yeah anyway whatever i'm really liking the way that he was presented in this book and so i'm really concerned that she's just gonna turn him into another basically walking dildo and i'm not here for that so please don't do that sarah if you see this i'd love your books some of them queen of shadows is one of my favorite books of all time but please don't do that to him please just i don't need it i don't want it i want him to be just nice and soft and gentle and loving and like actually loving not lusting please anyway i just had a big old cup of tea so i'm highly caffeinated right now i didn't say but i'm gonna give this three stars i think the friendship aspects like i said five stars loved the character development that nesta went through i loved seeing her relationship with these girls blossom it was incredible however all the other parts of the book like two stars that actually averages out to a 3.5 but i just don't feel like i could get this three like it doesn't feel like a 3.5 three for now could maybe be bumped up to a 3.5 but yeah very glad to finally have read this because it this came out in 2021 and that was three years ago now and now i feel like i can read the crescent city series i should say reread the first book and continue on because i've been like not wanting to do that but now actually i really want to reread front of glass not because of this but just because i've heard a lot of people talking about it recently and i read that series when it first came out and i like followed along as it was coming out pretty much i think the first two books were out when i started reading it and then i had to like wait for the releases which is so crazy i feel like i haven't been caught up with the series in so long and i really loved that series as i just said queen of shadows is one of my favorite books of all time i think that book is incredible i'm like scared to reread that like what if i don't like it as much but also i would love to do the tower of dawn empire of storms tandem read because i didn't do that because i read them as they came out so i couldn't do that but i know a lot of people have enjoyed that i don't know maybe that's a project for next year but i really shouldn't because it wasn't even that long ago that i finished the series like i finished in 2020 so yeah but anyway i'm fully rambling this is just sarah damas rambles today anyway i haven't read anything else yet obviously as i said i've got two hours left of reading so i will be reading some more of the teller of small fortunes later but i'm just thinking about my tbr i'm thinking about whether or not i should switch out the courting of bristol keats because that's my pick for a book with a black cover but now that i've finished my audiobook i kind of need another one because i know i'm going to want to keep on going with my cross stitch and i do really need to read the atlas six by olivia blake it's for a video that i'm working on and i started the audiobook before the wedding and then i had to stop it because i just wasn't going to finish it in time anyway so now i'm like should i pick that one up instead for the black cover because the courting of bristol keats doesn't come out until mid-november so i still have time to read that in november and get my review up before it comes out so i might switch those up but i will let you know but actually i'm about to go for a walk with my sister she texted me this morning was like do you want to go for a walk later it's like yeah after lunch and then she was like well now it's too late i don't want to go but i i've convinced her so she'll probably be here in a couple minutes actually so yeah i'm gonna go for a little walk we might go to a thrift store and buy some paintings that we can turn into the little ghosty paintings potentially but i don't know but yeah i've finished another book which is very exciting and it is such a chunker i've done a little bit more of my cross stitch i'm starting to work on the next color which is red so yeah, 
yeah, I did a little bit on the nose. And I'm in the middle of doing some in the eye right there. But yeah, I was working on that while I listened to the audiobook. And now I'm going to walk. And I also need to update my friend because she read A Court of Silver Flames before I did. And I've been like live reacting to things with her. So I need to tell her that I finished. But anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to go. I'll chat to you later. Hello. Good morning. It's Sunday. It's currently 1030, but the clocks changed yesterday. So it feels like it's much later in the day. Like I feel like I'm having the laziest day, but it's only 1030 and I'm actually already almost finished editing a video. So I'm like, wow, look at me. Productivity queen. Anyway, I'm actually kind of annoyed because I really wanted to get up really early this morning and like make use of the time change. And like my plan was to hopefully wake up at like 6 30 but obviously my body feels like it's 7 30 but that didn't happen because i'm basically having this really intense jaw pain and i don't know why it's come out of nowhere and originally i thought it was my teeth but my teeth actually feel fine now so i'm like i don't know what it is and like during the day it's okay but it was like lying in bed last night it was just so painful so it took me a while to fall asleep so i did not get up early i got up at my usual time of like 7 30 but still i'm like almost finished editing a video because i was gonna edit yesterday afternoon but i ended up going for a walk with my sister and we ended up walking for like two hours because we went on like my standard walk but we made it a little bit longer and then afterwards we like went to all of the charity shops or thrift store whatever you want to call it that are around looking for those freaking paintings so that we could do the ghost painting but we couldn't find any well we found one but it was massive and it was like i don't want to do this it's too big and then we also realized like, it's just kind of too late because Halloween is on Thursday. So it's a little bit late. So maybe next year we'll do it in like September. Anyway, and then afterwards she came over. I don't know, the whole day just got away from me. So I didn't actually read any more yesterday. So I still have two hours left on my timer, which is not great. So that means that whatever I'm doing today, I'm adding on to this two hours. So I really hope that I land on the half hour space or the one hour space, not the three hour spaces. I really hope so. Anyway, let's just spin the spinner wheel. Yes! Oh my gosh, that is the best news. That is the best news. Amazing stuff. So I have to add half an hour on, which is fine. So let's change that timer to two and a half hours. I feel like I manifested that. That's perfect. So yeah, I have to read for two and a half hours today, which is excellent. I really do want to try and finish The Teller of Small Fortunes. I keep saying that and then not doing it. So I want to make sure I put in the work and finish that book today because I feel like I've been putting it off, even though I'm enjoying it. I just, there's something about cozy fantasy and I think it's because the stakes are so low most of the time that it's like, oh, I don't have to read it. I'm like not itching to read it because I'm like, oh I know everything's gonna be okay I don't know that's kind of like my thought process on it I suppose but I am enjoying it so yeah maybe I'll try and do like an hour long sprint but I also kind of want to start another audiobook I might read the atlas six because I have to read that anyway for a different video and I have the audiobook so maybe I'll read that so I can do some cross stitch before I do any reading I want to finish editing this video that I'm doing because I literally only have like a few clips left that I have to finish editing and I want to post it today at like 1 p.m so I only have two and a half hours to do that and it's definitely gonna get done in that time I'll probably be done in like Half an hour. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna read and then I also definitely want to go for a walk today again because it's actually a beautiful day for once. It is sunny, the sky is clear, but the sun is gonna set at 5 p.m., which is gonna be horrible. But at least it's nice now. So yeah, I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna go make myself coffee, finish editing this video, and then I will read later. And I'll just update you on that all that later on. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead. Hello, good morning, it's Monday. I am sleepy because I've been awake for a few hours already. I woke up really early this morning because I had my job interview at nine. And so I woke up at 6.45 so that I could be, you know, energized and I feel like I was. But now I'm like, okay, I'm tired. And also because it was so early, everyone else was asleep. So I didn't want to film a clip of me talking. So I wanted to do my spinner wheel so I could start reading because I only had 45 minutes left of The Teller of Small Fortunes. So I wanted to read while I was like waking up and drinking my coffee. So yeah, I did my spinner wheel and I screen recorded it. And so as you can see, I landed on three and a half hours for today, which is actually fine. I think it's doable. I have a lot of stuff to do today, but I can definitely get that done. And I've already done like two of the things off my to-do list anyway so look at me go anyway but let me tell you about yesterday i've been having this really painful like jaw situation and it was so bad yesterday like all day so i ended up not being able to read for like a really long time because i like couldn't focus i was just like watching youtube because i was like at least this is like just taking my mind off it whereas reading i feel like because it's more of an active thing i feel like i'm focusing more and and i couldn't because my freaking 
jaw. Anyway, but eventually I took some ibuprofen and I managed to read. And I did read for my full two and a half hours. And as I said, I only had 45 minutes of the Teller of Small Fortunes left because I really wanted to just finish it last night, but I was literally falling asleep. It was not even 10 o'clock and I couldn't keep my eyes open because of the time change. Like it felt like it was like 11 o'clock, obviously. Anyway, but as I said, I wanted to read while drinking my coffee. So I did. And I've actually finished reading The Teller of Small Fortunes. And I think I haven't actually told you what this book is about, which is my bad. Sorry about that. This is basically a cozy fantasy following our main character, Tao. And she's a traveling fortune teller. She only tells small fortunes. So, you know, she can do palm readings and stuff like that and just tell you like a little thing, but nothing too big because of something that happened in her past. She's scared of doing bigger fortunes. So yeah, she only does small fortunes. But while she's traveling around, she ends up meeting a few different people and ends up getting roped into sort of a bigger adventure than she really wanted. It's a really sweet, cozy fantasy with found family. I really enjoyed it. It does have sort of a bigger, deeper plot to it. Like it's a little bit more emotional than I was expecting. Like I literally actually teared up, which I just wasn't expecting from this. I thought it was just going to be like a sweet, cozy time. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. I will say it's not a new favorite, but it was a really good time. I would recommend it. And I ended up giving it four stars, which I think is a pretty solid rating. And because I was reading that this morning, I now have two hours and 50 minutes left on my timer, which is still a lot. And now that that's finished, I think realistically at most, I could finish two more books. I think that's optimistic. But I think I'm gonna start listening to the audiobook of The Atlas Six. And in terms of a physical read, I think I'm gonna read Throne of the Fallen just because I really feel like I'm gonna love that and I want to. So yeah, that will be my physical read that I'll probably start later on. And I'll probably listen to The Atlas Six a bit throughout the day while I'm running my errands and stuff. And I need to go write a review for this because this was an arc and it comes out on November 5th. So not long. I need to write this review while everything is fresh. So yeah, I'm gonna go get on with my errands and I'll just chat to you later. Hello, good morning. Sorry, I'm filming this on my phone because my memory card is almost full on my camera, so I need to sort that out. Anyway, it is Tuesday morning. I have already been up for two hours. And again, like yesterday, I wanted to spin the spinner wheel so that I could start reading, but it was too early and everyone else was asleep. So I just screen recorded it. But as you saw, I landed on an hour. So I only have to read for an hour today. However, saying that I did not finish my reading yesterday. I was so close, but I just wanted to go to sleep. So I had five minutes left on my timer. So basically I have to read for an hour and five minutes today. And actually I only have about 10 minutes left on my timer. So I'm definitely going to complete my reading for today. Although I'm actually about to go to the gym. So I'm going to finish later. Yesterday I restarted the audiobook of The Atlas Six. Well, no, I didn't restart it. Actually, I just picked up where I left off. I'm now like exactly a third of the way through and I'm not going to update you my thoughts actually, because that's for a secret reading vlog, but it might be a DNF to be honest. I might wait until I'm like halfway through, but yeah, I feel like it's going to be a DNF. I listened to some of that while I did some of my cross stitch and also made dinner. And then afterwards I did start reading Throne of the Fallen by Karen Maniscalco. And I read like 50 pages yesterday and now I'm on page 92. So I'm definitely reading it pretty slowly. I think just because I'm like getting into a new world and I've never read from this author before. So I'm like trying to get used to her writing style. Also, it's like kind of historical. It's like kind of a Regency setting. I always find that historical romances take me longer to read than contemporary romances. There's something about the writing style which I just can't get into as much, but I'm enjoying it so far. Basically this follows the Prince of Envy and he's basically has to take part in this game with like the other princes of sin, but in order to do so he needs the help of this human painter called Camilla and she is like kind of a disgraced painter, like not quite disgraced, but basically like she has no more family left, her father died, her mother ran away, and she doesn't have any money left and so basically she's struggling and she also doesn't want a relationship with anybody. She meets Envy and this sort of passion ignites between them and then they have to work together for various reasons. That's all I really know so far. I will read more of this later but for now I'm going to the gym. I'm definitely going to read beyond my timer today because I want to and if I want to get this finished by Thursday night I have to read like three hours a day because I'm reading it so slowly. We'll see if I speed up as I go along. I'm feeling I'm going to read a lot of this today. Anyway I'm going to go to the gym and I'll update you later. Hello, good afternoon, happy Wednesday. It's currently almost 4 p.m., which means the sun is setting in half an hour, and I'm so sad, because literally the clocks changed on Sunday, and the sunset was at 5 p.m. How's it been three days, and already the sunset is now gonna be at 4.30? Are you kidding me? I hate it here. I actually hate it here. This is why I hate autumn. I'm not here to hate on autumn. I do it every single video in the whole of autumn. I hate on autumn. So let's not do it. Yeah, again, I screen recorded the spinner wheel without you because I wanted to start reading and it was too early in the morning, but I landed on an hour and a half, which is not too bad. And so that does mean that tomorrow I have to read for three hours. That's already decided. Anyway, and I read a little bit this morning, but now I have 40 minutes left on my timer. So I guess I read 
for almost an hour this morning. So not a little bit. Anyway, so yeah, I've got 40 minutes left of reading. So I will definitely be reading some more of Throne of the Fallen this evening. I was getting so into it. Anyway, but I'm currently on page 197, which is really annoying. I wanted to get to page 200, but then Alex texted me because he woke it up. So I was like, okay, I guess I have to go get ready for the gym. I'm almost 200 pages through. I am enjoying this. I feel like I still don't really know how to feel. I think we're about to get to a more interesting part. A lot of it so far has just been like talking a lot about propriety and protecting her reputation and things like that. And like things have been going wrong that have the risk of ruining her reputation. But I think things are about to get more interesting and things are getting a little bit more fantastical. Although obviously they've been fantastical the whole time because Envy is like one of the princes of the seven realms, I'm guessing of hell. It's been there the whole time, but it's getting more fantastical now. So I'm excited to see where it goes. But I will say it is a very slow, read for me like when I'm reading it I'm really enjoying it but it just takes me a lot longer than like other stuff I've been reading so I don't know if I'm actually gonna finish this tomorrow I have hope I'm crossing my fingers but we'll see anyway and funnily enough actually the second book in this series came out yesterday so if I enjoy this I can pick that up I also don't know if I already said but I didn't realize that this was a companion series to the kingdom of the wicked so if I like this I think I'll probably go back and read those I will be definitely reading some more this evening and then I also listened to a little bit more of the atlas 6 audiobook and I have officially left that. I did not get halfway through because I was just like thinking about it and honestly the reviews of the rest of the series are so bad that I'm like what is the point? Like actually what is the point? I actually gave up on that because I just can't roll it. So that does actually complete a prompt because you are allowed to count DNFs towards your rolls. So that means that I'm finishing the book off on with two rolls uncompleted but we'll see if I can complete this which I don't think I can. But yeah I'm definitely not gonna be reading Fear the Flames. I'm also about to lose my loan of Wondersmith and turns out my library doesn't have it anymore. So I only have two days left to read that before I lose it and I won't be able to get it again I kind of need to listen to that so I might listen to that while I'm like cooking dinner and stuff tonight but anyway the reason why it's so late in the day that I'm updating you is because I like went to the gym and stuff this morning and then when I came home I like prepped everything for my lunch because I knew I was going to talk to my friend I didn't know what time we would finish and I'm so glad I did that because I was talking to one of my best friends Izzy we had a little FaceTime I say little but it was literally two hours it was not very little but we had a lovely two hour FaceTime to catch up about everything and make some plans for some stuff that's going to happen next year it was so good to talk to her and also because I feel like I haven't seen anyone who's not part of my family in like four weeks almost. See, I kind of feel like I need a little bit more human interaction. Not that I don't love my family, but yeah, I haven't seen a friend in a while. So it was really nice to have a proper catch up with Izzy. I love her. So yeah, it's always nice to talk to her. We made some exciting plans, which I do need to finalize. I also really need to do my nails. I got them done like four weeks ago and they have held up so well. Like I only got a chip yesterday and it was my own fault. But apart from that, I have no chips and like they're so cute are they not adorable these were my wedding nails obviously and yeah i really need to do them because even though they're so cute they have grown out a lot yeah i really need to do them soon maybe i'll do that this evening and just listen to the wondersmith audiobook and do my nails but also like i don't want to because i love them so much and like i was talking to izzy about this she got married early this year as well and she said like really sad to like get rid of your wedding nails because it's like one of the last things that's like tying you to that day that makes you still feel like a bride even though it's over i like don't want to but equally i know that they don't look that good because they're like four weeks grown out i will decide and i will read and i will update you later but for now i have to go edit last week's vlog because i mean this one's almost over and i still haven't edited last week's vlog so i'm gonna go do that and i'll talk to you later
Hello, good afternoon. It is Thursday, the 31st of October, also known as Halloween. So happy Halloween. I feel like I'm not in the Halloween mood at all this year. I don't know why. Like last year, I made it like a really cozy thing. I had to work. And then after work, I came home and I made this, what I'm calling boo bark. It was basically like a chocolate bark with little ghosties on it. And it was so cute. And like all week, I've been thinking like I should do boo brownies because like that was good. But I mean, like at the end of the day, it's just chocolate. And I haven't had brownies in ages. So I was thinking I should do that. But then Alex has been eating sugar during the week he's only having sugar on the weekends so i'm like if i make them he's not even gonna eat them then i have to eat my sweet treat by myself which is just like really sad should i just not eat sweet treats absolutely not how dare you basically i don't think i'm gonna do it not this year so i'll have to do it next year because i thought that would be so freaking cute With, like a chocolate ganache oh delicious anyway but it's not happening so i don't know why i'm going on about it anyway but what i did do today was i went for a halloween run because i haven't been for a run in like over a month because i kept on injuring myself so i just had to take a break and also like with being away and everything and then trying to get back to the gym i just hadn't run and i think that was definitely a really good decision because my run today felt so good i did like a little bit over four miles and yeah it was just felt really good i listened to a halloween playlist it was quite foggy and then also there were like orange leaves all over the ground and like very much a spooky vibe it was it was fun but i think that's gonna be like the extent of my halloween celebrations this year i'm not doing anything like this weekend or anything well i didn't do anything last weekend because yeah i'm just not that bothered this year i feel like i've just been in such a weird headspace recently that i'm like don't have the energy to do it so i won't anyway but reading updates i have made a little bit more progress in throne of the fallen i'm now on page like 230 i think so not a lot because like i keep saying i'm reading it really slowly but like i'm enjoying it so much when i am reading it I I don't know what it is the writing style is just like i'm just slow reading it but i'm not complaining because i'm having a good time i think where i'm at it's about to get a lot more interesting not that i wasn't enjoying it before but i think it's about to get a little bit more intense we've kind of changed setting and i'm excited i'm gonna keep reading that later but i've also been listening to the audiobook of wondersmith i started listening to it again last night because my loan is due tomorrow morning so i either finish it today or i don't read it i have like eight hours left in the audiobook but i'm listening to it on double speed so yeah i've got like four hours left of reading and I have to read for three hours today so I'll definitely be completing my timer if I finish Wondersmith. I've already read for like an hour today. I read some of Throne of the Fallen this morning as you saw and then when I was cleaning I was listening to audiobook of Wondersmith but I was also focusing on finishing editing last week's vlog because I want to post it today otherwise the Bogopalon is over but I need to still do the thumbnail for that. I was working on that this morning and just cleaning and all that stuff. I went for my run and now it's time for me to have a shower do some like job stuff and then later on I'll listen to more of the audiobook and maybe read read some more from the fallen but i've accepted like that one is not gonna get finished in the month which is okay i'm also like not gonna try and rush myself to finish it today because like according to bookly which is an app i really like i've started using it maybe like a month or two ago and it's really for me very interesting but basically you can like track your reading and every time you read you like track how many pages you read and like in the time and then it tells you like first of all how long it took you to finish the whole book and also like as you're reading it it tells you how long it will take you to read the book so like at the moment it says reading the same you will finish the book in seven hours 46 minutes and 29 seconds so like i'm not gonna finish that today so that's literally the whole day so that's not happening according to bookly it's gonna take me a long time to finish that Whereas with Wondersmith, Bookly thinks it's going to take me three hours and 40 minutes to finish it. So I will be finishing that today, I guess. But anyway, I'm going to have a shower and get on with my afternoon. And I'll chat to you later. Hello, good morning. It's actually Sunday today. It's been a few days. But basically, I've just been a little bit busy the last few days. So I haven't been able to come on and wrap everything up. But I'm here to wrap up the vlog. So yeah, it's now November. So the readathon is officially over. I did not manage to finish Throne of the Fallen, obviously. I knew this wasn't going to happen. But yeah, I didn't finish it. I don't think I even read any more that day. But I'm now about three. 300 pages in so I'm hoping to finish this very early on into November. I also did not finish Wondersmith. I was listening to the audiobook. I did get up really early on Friday morning so I literally like as soon as I woke up put my headphones in. I was listening to the audiobook on like two and a half times speed trying to just get it done before it expired at 7 a.m and it didn't happen. And I was even like not on wi-fi so that hopefully like I could just cheat the system but it didn't work. So yeah I lost my loan and I ended up buying it on Kindle because it was on sale for 99p anyway. So yeah I just bought it on Kindle and and ended up finishing it on there, but it did not happen during the readathon. And I gave that four stars. I really enjoyed that. But yeah, that concludes the Spookopolathon. I really enjoyed choosing my TBR in that way, like with having to complete prompts. Like it is really fun. I think maybe that's something I'll start doing in the new year potentially. Although I am such a mood reader that sometimes it doesn't work. And it's a really good thing about having prompts rather than choosing specific books. And like in any TBR that I ever make, I'm gonna give myself lots of options because I know who I am. But yeah, as usual, I had a great time with this readathon. It was a crazy month as we 
all know, but I had a good time. Thanks so much to Becca for hosting the readathon. It's the best. And thank you for watching all the way. I know this vlog is probably going to be quite a long one, judging by how much footage I have at the moment. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, leave me some dice in your comments so I know you made it all the way to the end. But yeah, that's all I have for this video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe down below, and I'll see you very soon with another video. Bye.